out in um, Diego with Rod Digger. Yes, ma'am. Rod Digger. Mixed mistress in the house. So what do you think about the female DJ? Um, the female DJ is female DJ? super rocking. I mean, I'm just, I'm all for females doing it. I mean, hip hop is a culture. It's not a gender based thing. So I, I feel that, you know, a female DJ could put it down just like a male DJ and, and I'm all for it. Mm -hmm. I'm a female. Okay. I'm an MC. <laughs> and you ripped it tonight. That's right. <laughs> I do my best. I aim to please. You ripped it tonight. Mm -hmm. So how do you, how do you suggest the DJ preserve the authenticity of hip hop? I think, um, well, I, I know with the, you know, with the invention of Serato, I, I guess, uh, you know, anybody could be a DJ now, but I, I think, you know, for the most part, there, there are, there are DJ purists, like my DJ, he's still like to carry his, his name is DJ Spunk, shout out DJ Spunk. He still like to carry around his crates of vinyl, so kudos to you, Speedy. Are you mom? Oh, yes, I'm a mother. I have a 14-year-old daughter. Wow. She off the chain. <laughs> off the chain. Hey, girl, what's her name? Sativa. Hey, Sativa. Uh oh Sativa. Uh, look, that's <laughs> but she keeps me grounded. I mean, she definitely keeps me inspired to do music. You've been in the game for a minute, Ron. Uh, and um, How have you seen music change over the years? You know, I was just having this conversation with somebody. He's like, damn, you know, been back in the day when when uh, KRS beat up PM Dawn or it, uh, <laughs> like, oh you know, I wish we could go back to the days of just mashing out the corner just of just bum rushing the, the, the whack rappers <laughs> on the stage. You know, I, I don't know who opened the floodgates and, and, and let all these jokey rappers in the game. But. What song you did with Lauren Hill back in the day? How was it I'm working with Lauren and doing that whole well, my crew, you know, at the time, you know, the Fugees then weren't the Fugees now. At right. the time, they was just another crew from Jersey. Like, I had my outsiders crew. So, we teamed up. We in the basement chilling, you know, putting in the air, put this record down. Next thing you know, it just ended up on the album. And, and then, lo and behold, you know, 24, 25 million <laughs> albums worldwide sold. It was like, damn. Tell us about your album that you have right now, your CD. Classic, produced by Knotts. He's a Virginia-based producer, and he did about five or six joints off the Dirty Harriet album. So our chemistry is, is always like on point. Do it, but I gotta shout out to A and R for that project, Lucas Zimmer, because he's the one that like was like, "Yo, you gotta do a whole album with Knotts, and all the records gotta be hard. Fuck a radio record. Fuck all that shit." You are the queen of straight spitting, and yeah, that's real. what you're going to do. And that's that's what I did. So. You know, I don't knock anybody's hustle, but, you know, somebody got to sell sex, somebody got to sell looks, somebody got to rock hard. <laughs> it is I. It was written. All Thank right. You, Thank Can I get you. that CD, homie? Oh, no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Let <laughs> me see. We got to go get the CD. All we right. got to go make the transaction. <laughs> Don't need you to tell me how nice my chain is. Hit me with that.